Hello, today we are going to see the Flexible File Writer plugin for JMeter. Flexible File Writer plugin allows you to write test results in a flexible format as you wish. So, uh, I, I will show you how Flexible File Writer works, but before that, you can download Flexible File Writer from this site over here. You just uh, click on download version 2.0. It will get downloaded in a form of a zip file. Uh, you can find it in your downloads folder. I have highlighted it, it over here. And then uh, you have to extract this to the libext folder. After extracting, you will find it as jmeter plugins ffw 2.0. It's an executable jar file. After uh, you download and extract the ffw file, uh, you just restart jmeter to be on the safer side then once jmeter opens up you can create a test as shown here i have created a test plan called batch test and i have put authorization manager over here authorization manager cookie manager cache manager all come bundled with the recorded uh, recorded uh, session with bad boy so you don't need to put in this manually it will come automatically with the test once you import it from bad boy next is the cookie manager cookie manager also don't do any changes http cache manager no changes over here http request defaults i have added and here you put the dollar and in curly braces app underscore url this is coming from the batch test user defined variables app url i am pointing the app url to lifecharger.org this is the way you define parameters next this is a random variable i have added it using a config element once you right click on the test plan you can add it you can add a config element uh, for random variable and then uh, the, the variable name has been test uh, underscore no and the output format is test underscore 000. 000 will be replaced by a random number. The minimum value for the random number generation is 100 and the maximum value is 1000. Coming to the thread group, the thread group also has user defined parameters. Here, uh, the users are parameterized from the test plan. Also, the ramp up period is parameterized, and I am running it for loop count 1. We had also put in the duration uh, parameter, so I have clicked the scheduler uh, option over here. Then I have added a JPGC dummy sampler. This is required in order to run flexible file writer. The things to be noted in dummy sampler are response code. This is uh, supplied by the random function. I am taking a random number from 198 to 200 and the response time I am taking in milliseconds from 1 to 10. In the request data you put uh, the test underscore number that is a random variable uh, name from the random variable config element and then you put the same element a variable over here in response data. Coming to the flexible file writer this is an important thing. So here the file name will be test and test results dot tsv not csv but it's tsv and this will come pre-built uh, pre-filled i mean but it will be uh, delimited by tabs if you want to have your custom format then you can put a pipe symbol or a tilde symbol in between the uh, headings so this is the file right file header and all the help for what file headers are there you can uh, take it from here also they have given the descriptions over here then once you fill in this just terminate it with a uh, return carriage a uh, carriage return and then come to the main data part of it this this has to correspond with the headers since it will be a one to one relationship and then i have put a carriage return again and as a file footer i am putting end of file okay so this is our flexible file writer next comes the response assertion 
here i'm not doing much i'm just checking for the response code as 200 i have put two listeners additionally this is a view results tree and view results in table you can put a file name over here just to compare the results but it's up to you how you manage it so now let's run this and see what we get all right i have put my cursor on view results tree and let's run it now it will run for three thread groups so it has started running the first has failed let's see what happens to the other two even if it fails don't get worried this will fail since it's just a dummy sampler all right all right it has finished uh, with its execution and as you can see there is one pass and two failures let's see why this has failed okay this has failed simply because the response code is 198 and the response code should be 200 for an okay message this response code is getting populated from the random variable that we had defined if you look into the dummy sampler that has passed it will have a response code of 200 and a response message of okay so we are all good uh, with the execution and our main goal is to look into our tsv file that has got created let's see whether it has got created in the bin folder there you go tsv file has got created if you open this file oh it uh, you have to draw drag and drop it to notepad okay this is the way our tsv file looks you have the end time this is the entire timestamp then comes the response time 5 sent bytes is 8 received bytes is 8 response code is 198 and response data is test underscore 730 this 730 261 and 835 are random numbers that have got generated so this is the way you create a tsv file and this is our flexible file writer file creation thank you so much for watching this video uh, do subscribe if you are not done so and thank you for all the subscriptions and please send me a message if you need any other extra information about this video thank you